Robert, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Um, and what is your name? Robert Bly. Hi, Robert. Um, and where are you from? I'm from Pomona Park, Florida. Okay. Um, I'm from the SCU. Right. So, um, what did you bring today? I brought my hydrogen generators. This is an example of one of my hydrogen generators. Um, as you can see the inside, it's a multiple tube design. This is one that I've been using for two months. It doesn't produce any mud, which is iron oxide. It also doesn't overheat. Um, you can see what the temperature is on the, if you can see the display. That's it. It's um I'll try again. Let's say let's say ninety-five degrees. Yeah. These cells don't get over one hundred and ten degrees. They stay cool. Um, they are a full bath cell, which means that they're always full of water all the way to the top. And if you, if you can zoom in on this, you'll see that the output is pushing water with the hydrogen and oxygen through the tube. There's no pump installed. That's what we call an ion pump. It's actual gas rising that pushes water out with it. And that water gets pushed over here to the bubbler, which is also a reservoir. And you can see that the reservoir is bubbling on the inside. Maybe you can't see it that well. Oh, uh, we can see it. There's bubbles coming up in here. What happens is that bubbles up through the water, and then hydrogen and oxygen collects in the top of the container, and it's pulled off here because it creates pressure, and that pressure gets routed in here to our intake. And just, just real quick, I have a secondary bubbler hooked up so that you can see what the flow looks like. Yeah. If, uh, if you've seen others flowing, you should be able to tell what kind of flow that is. And the reason I do that is because when I light this, yeah. you'll see the flame can't get past the water. So this is what you call a safety device, a backflash arrestor slash bubbler. That's never going to fail. So if anybody is ever lighting their gas, they should always light it with one of these to keep it from backflashing into here and blowing up their bubbler. Okay. So where did you get the idea? Uh, watching other people on YouTube. Uh, I built about 25 prototypes before I came up with this design. Oh, really? Could you name one? I uh, built, I built many Joe cells, which are similar to this. Uh, um, a lot of wall plate designs, smacks design. Um, I tried to build a Bob Boyce design. I built a lot of the circuit boards. Um, but uh, I've, I've done a lot of plate designs and multiple tube setups and others. I have also got a double helix design that I built that does pretty good. Right, so can you name all the energies that you're using? I'm, I'm pulling uh, seven amps on each cell. These are 12 inch cells. This is what one looks like taken out. Um, but I'm pulling seven amps at 12 volts or 13 volts when it's running. Uh, Hold on. Is that expensive or no, it's cheap? It's cheap and right. cheap. Yeah. Enhancer. Thank you for the wonderful demonstration. So, um, do you have some information on your what website? Are you using your energy? Where would I go to come to look um, at your stuff? We're using uh, the hydrogen. You write it down. I got We're making it ourselves. Right, yeah. Um, actually, and routing it into not, the intake with the incoming air YouTube. and allowing yeah. that to mix with the well, incoming air. I'm not a, I'm not a real good YouTube jockey, you know. I've gone on there and seen my sound and stuff. It actually raises the octane level of the gas that we're using. It just, uh, so it just makes everything.
put your names on it there. It makes everything more efficient. What the school are you only doing this as a school project? Most engines yeah, are I, only I designed to run uh, at about a 30% efficiency rating. So what we're doing so is do you know the, lady the that, engine uh, become more efficient. Hold on, hold on. Are we done? So, um, hold on one second. Are you video? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Does your resource does your resource natural gas. Well, I, I suppose uh, hydrogen is a natural gas, but it's not the natural gas that we're used to hearing about, which is methane. Yeah. Um, Alright, well, how will your invention help the environment? Well, one thing that hydrogen burning in an engine does, besides increase the efficiency of the engine, is it also removes carbons, it cleans out the combustion chamber, and it cleans up the exhaust, so we have less exhaust emissions by using the hydrogen as an additive. Um, so, um, what effect do you think your invention will have on the economy if it is put into production in everyday use? Well, I think, let's just say for instance, if I have a 25% efficiency increase with my cell on every engine that's putting out 25 to 30% efficiency right now, we're doubling the efficiency of the motor effectively. We're getting a more efficient motor in every car that goes into production with this type of system on it. So in the long run, what that'll do is it'll lower the greenhouse emissions that our cars are putting out because it'll clean up the exhaust. And it'll also save resources because we use less fuel to do our driving every day. All right, well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you for your interview. I guess I was wrong. The air is blowing pretty good out here. Not too